Hi my loves, welcome back to another video. So today I'm so excited because, let me go get it, let me go get it. I'm going to be swatching all of the new Huda Beauty Demi Matte Lippies. She has these new Demi Matte Lippies and oh my god, this PR package is by far one of the coolest ones I've received. It's so beautiful. So yeah, we're just going to try them all and the, they do, these one comes in like this kind of like, PVC kind of packaging, it's plastic, it's a clear plastic, but I love the look of it. It's so cool because on the back she has a look, a different look for each lip colour, so that's really, really cool. That look. She's just slaying, she's slaying this PR package. Look at that. Just look at that. You guys know I freaking love Huda Beauty, okay? I'm obsessed with her show Huda Boss, you guys need to watch it. Um, I'm obsessed with every single one of her products, I'm always wearing her damn lashes. It's just, it's just, her products are just so good okay before i jump onto the video i'm going to be doing a quick shout out and today's one goes to gabrielle khan and to her son seth khan so thank you so much for the sweet comment and say hi to your son for me if you guys want to get a post notification shout out all you have to do is subscribe press the bell button and then let me know in the comments below so on the pr package it says that the demi mats are a bold cream lipstick Showcasing a full spectrum of ultra feminine colours to complement every one of your alter egos. Saturated in pigment, rich in creamy texture. Sheen highlights the curves of your lips while a hint of mint in the formula naturally enhances the fullness of your pout. Enriched with maxi lip for extreme comfort, demi matte sets to a satin finish that lasts for hours without dehydrating the lips. She likes to blot it um, with some tissue to... Um, get a more matte look so we will try that so i think i'm just going to start with the first one which is game change i'm going to go from left to right so this is what the packaging looks like it's not like the glosses it's not like the the, the matte packaging but it's just it's just so pretty i love it so much i'm gonna like put these on my vanity oh my god i can't wait okay let's put this one on so excited Okay, right off the bat, it's super creamy. I know I probably look a bit weird right now. It is very bright. Obviously, I'm more in a tan complexion, so some of them will be a little bit too light. But I really feel like if I had a brown lip liner, I could get away with this one. So it's definitely not one, oh, I can't wear, or I think it's ugly. But I think it's one of those colours that make me look like I have a beard around my mouth. Like, it's giving me that kind of vibe right now. <laughs> but it's very creamy, very pigmented, and I can definitely feel the mint tingliness. It's not, like, overwhelming. It's actually, it's actually very subtle. So, yeah, this is Game Changer. Okay, so the next one is Revolutionaire. Revolutionaire. This one is definitely really nice. I love it. Mm. Gosh, these guys, is, this one is beautiful. If you like my skin tone, it's so nice. It is more in the cool tone, but I love it. It's like very kind of not similar, not the same color as my lips, but very, it's like in that tone. So it kind of looks like I'm barely wearing anything on my lips. So yeah, my lips is a different weird color because it's like this dark color because I've got dark a dark ring, ring around my lips. But yeah, definitely a thumbs up for this one. I really like this one. And again, it's so creamy. There's one that I'm so like, there actually there's two. Oh my God, they're, they're, there's just some colors that are so beautiful in here. Okay, so the next one is a bright red, which actually caught my sister's eye. And this is a boy collector. I think this is like a really nice bright red. Just look at that pigment. Okay, please mind the rough application, but this is beautiful. Okay, so the next one is Mogul. By the way, her doe foot applicator has changed, like it has that little dent so it fits right on the lip. Okay, 
Okay, this is definitely one I really like. It might be a little bit light, but I definitely think with a lip liner around, this will be so stunning for every day. I love this one. This is definitely another one that stood out, but I do really like Revolutionaire as well. So yeah, these two, yeah, so far. Okay, so the next one is Shaker. That is such a nice name. This colour is stunning. I did over my line my lips a bit too much, but you know, I love it. So the next one is Lady Boss. It just feels so good to hear on it. Just glides and it's just so satisfying. It's just so satisfying. Okay, so the next one is Feminist, which I think might be too light. This is what this colour looks like. I mean, I'm quite surprised at this one. It works. Definitely with a lip liner, I could actually wear this. Yeah, this one's so... I mean, it does look really light, but it works for me. I just love the finish of it. So creamy. So yeah, thumbs up for that. It's not my favourite, but I can wear it. I really like Lady Boss, to be honest. That's definitely, I need to wear that to out. Like, next time I'm out, I'm going to wear that colour. Okay, now for the next colour, which I'm very excited about. It's Provoc Provocateur. That's how I would say it in French. This colour is stunning. Stunning. I'm sorry, I'm just getting a bit too excited. Like, it's just so beautiful. I love this colour. Oh my god, I love it so much. So the next one is Bows. Look at that, guys. Just look at that. Okay, it's probably not the best application, but that just went on like a dream. I feel like a doll. I feel like the witch in Snow White. Yums. Okay, I am so excited for this one. It's called Catwalk Killer. It's just like this beautiful, like, mauvey, purpley colour. This is what it looks like. Just look at that. Definitely a thumbs up for this one. Okay, so this one is Day Slayer. My, I've got lipstick all over my fingers. Definitely a bit more on the lighter side, but again, another wearable colour that I can wear with lip liner. And even if you like this light nudie look, you can totally wear this. Um, it don't mean because you are on the darker side that you can't wear lighter nudes, you can. Like, some of them, like, I've seen so many people rock lighter nudes and it looks so nice. It's not for me, but I could actually wear this on its own. Like, it's so pretty. Okay, so now we have Bonnie. So this one was a little bit harder to get an even application, but considering that it's so light and it's showing up this bright on me, thumbs up guys. I don't think I would wear this one, I'd probably give this to someone that is much lighter than me. I don't know, it's not for me, but yeah, that's what Bonnie looks like. Okay, so right here we have Shiro, and I think this is going to be a very popular shade. It's kind of like that peachy nude. What do you guys think? I'm actually really liking it. Again, with a lip liner, I would wear this with a lip liner because I really like the tone, like the peachiness of it. Okay, so I feel like my mom would love this shade. This is Passionista. Passionista. It's just a super bright fuchsia color.
So this is what Passionista looks like and it's too super stunning, can't get my words out. Um, but yeah, this is a nice one. Definitely one I would wear. It looks more fluorescent on camera, but it's not. It's more of like a deeper fuchsia, you know? Last but not least, we've got Shio or Shio. I don't know how to say it, but yeah. Let's see if this one's nice. Okay, so that is Shio. It's, a, it's another one, guys. I love this one. Again, a beautiful, beautiful nude. So those are all the colours I hope you enjoyed and found this video helpful. Definitely my favourite colours were Revolutionaire, Boy Collector, Lady Boss, Catwalk Killer, and Shio, this one. Those are the ones that really stood out for me. And I do have to say that it feels really lovely on the skin, very soft, very smooth. It follows all the stuff that it's mentioned here. It definitely has that minty kind of thing. Let me get a tissue to blot. Yeah. If you blot it, it becomes more of this really comfortable matte kind of stain. And it kind of takes away the shine. So yeah, it definitely takes that box. I don't know, the colours are so beautiful. They're so complimentary. And I think it caters to a lot of skin tones out there. And I don't know, I'm in love. Like, this is so beautiful. I feel like this is going to be one of my, you know, one of my favourite lip formulas. Because it just feels so nice. I can't explain it. It's like, not overly sticky or shiny. It's just like, it's like cloud on your lips. Like, you just can't feel it, you know? But it looks stunning, super pigmented. And yeah. And remember, this is more of a creamy formula, so it's going to transfer, but it does say that it's, it lasts quite a few hours. So give this video a big thumbs up. It really means a lot. And yeah, I will see you in my next video. I'm going to eat a cherry because that's so damn good. Okay, bye, guys. They're so good. I can't stop. <laughs>